character looks like she's gonna end up needing to be nerfed. She's got a lot of options. Wide normals that are fast. This is exactly what you need in this type of game. Looks pretty clear that this game is gonna be supported into 2024 with new characters, and this is an excellent game. The more characters, the more likely someone's gonna pick up a main and stay with it. Um, new systems, a new awakening system as well as we're about to see. So the new system is called the cube selection. And the way it works is that we know that when a person loses 50% of their life or less, the cube awakening effect is weaker compared to the gold cubes awakening effect. With the gold cube, you can activate it when you have 30% HP or less. And then some characters original awakening effect will be applied to a clear cube with more powerful awakening effect set for the gold cube. So we can get some variation with that. It's just gonna spice up the system. And all it takes is a small change like this for a lot of characters that are low tier to get popped up to a high tier and shake up the meta. So this new cube is not only gonna be a new awakening system, but it's gonna also make certain skills more powerful. And that ability is gonna be tagged with the awakening effect. And now we have the new season pass roadmap. Okay, so we're gonna get Spectre in the summertime. Then in the fall, we're gonna get another new character. Then in the winter, we're gonna get another character. And then in 2024, they already have two new characters. Plan also will be getting a new stage along with Spectre. So this is looking good for DNF Duel. Uh, it's probably gonna bring more people into the game. Because you only need one main character for someone to get hooked in there, for them to love that character, and that's it. They're in the game. They're not going anywhere. And then they mix up of the meta, and they're going to be balancing out the game some more. So there's a lot to look forward to when it comes to this game. 255 out. One.